Hello guys and welcome to the gaming news for the 29th of January 2022. So God of War PC has had patch 1.04 released, which includes some fixes for graphics card crashes, some DLSS optimizations and added settings, and one or two in-game fixes as well. But other than that, mostly the game has launched in a very solid mode. So if you didn't see already, God of War is now available on PC. I would highly recommend the game. It's really fun to play and you can get it on Epic Games Store or on Steam. The next bit of news for today is Epic Games released a statement on their official website talking about the performance of the Epic Games Store. And within it, it says, quote, uh, there are now over 194 million Epic Games Store PC users, an increase of 34 million from 2020. Daily active users peaked at 31.1 million and peak concurrent users reached 13.2 million. December's monthly active users peak reached 62 million users, an increase of 11% from last year's peak of 56 million. And then it also says that over 765 million free games were claimed by players, bringing those titles to a new audience 76 free games broke their peak concurrent user records on PC with an average of 13 times their all-time records. So I have been talking about it for a while that you can go on to Epic Games Store quite often and re redeem a free game. And if you do it consistently, you can actually build quite a nice game library. And the quality of games that they're giving out are actually quite good. So up to you. <laughs> That's all I'll say. And then the last bit of news for today is Evil Dead the Game tweeted out saying... Hey Evil Dead fans, when we set out to create a brand new game with, worthy of the Evil Dead franchise, we knew it had to be uh, groovy as hell. In order to deliver the best possible experience, Evil Dead the game is now coming on the 13th of May 2022. This delay gives our team the time they need to get things just right, so your boomstick will be polished, fully loaded, and ready to blast uh, Dead Eyes on that Friday the 13th of May. We thank you for your patience and understanding. Don't worry, you won't have to wait too long for more news. Stay tuned for pre-order info and a brand new trailer in February. So, as I've said over and over again in the gaming news, more time for polish for any game is good. Simple as that. So if you're waiting for the game, know that you might have to wait a little bit longer. So anyway, guys, that's it for the gaming news for today. Thank you so much, as always, for all the new followers, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.